All right, we are trying out our smoker for the first time today. We got ourselves some uh, some pork butt here. Porter, check this out. We got a big giant pork butt, also called a pork shoulder. We put a big old rub on it, uh, made of a bunch of different spices and brown sugar and stuff, and we got that packed on there. Look over here at the counter, dude. We've got uh, a couple uh, racks of baby back ribs. We're about to put a rub on those as well as a sauce, and then we're gonna throw them out here in the smoker. So um, the smoker is out here outside. I'm gonna come show you that thing. This is the uh, the smoke hollow wood smoker. We just got her preheating right now. So down the bottom, you got some chips that are just starting to smoke up. Pot of water, and we're gonna put that uh, thing in there. So it's starting to smoke. So we're ready to bring the meat out here. All right. So we're gonna baste our ribs up here with some sauce that we made. We mixed some uh, some honey hickory barbecue sauce with uh, some balsamic vinegar. Um, some uh, soy sauce and some ketchup and a few other chemicals and we're gonna get that on here and then we're gonna pack our rub onto it. I accidentally started putting the rub on this one first but it smells a bit. We're using one of these strange. nice uh, rubber brushes because they get the stuff on there real good without leaving uh, hairs on your food. It's a strong scent. This is really <laughs> strong. So um, yeah basalt vinegar is really strong but, it, but it's really flavorful. All right so now we're gonna uh, pack the rub on top of these. The marinade will act as a, uh, a glue and stick this uh, stuff on there. All right. And hey, we're gonna go put this in the uh, grill now, in the smoker. Take this guy, we're gonna throw it on the top shelf here. Big old pork butt. Slap it right on there. The, meat, the heat going up a little bit because we lost the heat with the door open. And then we're gonna go get the ribs. Be right back with our ribs. Let's go get the ribs. All right, here's our ribs. This is uh, an espresso sauce. Ooh, man, that sauce is thick. And we're gonna uh, put these right on the rack. Here we go. What are you doing? These ribs are gonna take a few hours. That roast is gonna take probably six, eight hours all the way till tonight. No. So, oh, look at this. We got three racks of ribs and we didn't even know it. You see that? There's two racks of ribs. One was stuck on top of the other. <laughs> nice. That's so we're gonna slide one of them in here. We'll go uh, base that other one up and bring it out and smoke it up too. Oh, look at that. It's a raw piece and you didn't even know. <laughs> and here is our other one. So there we go. So the juice will drip down in the water pan that's also keeping it moist. Those chips down in the bottom bucket will uh, we'll start smoking here as soon as I shut the door. We're going to get it up to about 225 and let it sit for a while. Now over here I've got a uh, remote thermometer and we're going to plug over here, Porter, check this out. We're going to take this thermometer and we're going to stick it right into our, uh, our big pork butt and it's going to monitor it remotely from outside and notify me when it, if it gets too hot or if it's done. There we go. All right, so we got this guy. Uh, it's already smoking already. We just got the meat in there, smoking like crazy. The seal looks pretty good. We're not losing a lot of smoke. And the back of it, we got it uh, pretty sealed up at the moment. We ran our thermometer in through the back, off to this puck, and this is a, a wireless one that uh, I can set for whatever I want, which in this case we're doing for for pork and it'll wirelessly notify me when the temperature gets to a certain degree or at least let me uh, monitor remotely what, where it's at. We are smoking baby. This is a great grill. So I've read on the line that this one can get too hot. We want to stick it at 225 uh, to keep it nice. So when we get around 225 we're going to crank this as low as we can so we can cook it slow. Alright so the smoker's been going for a little bit here now. Just want to show you what the food and the smoke looks like inside of that sucker. Woo! Smokey. We don't want to leave that open too long because we want to keep a steady temperature. So just wanted to show you what's going on. All right, we're about uh, close to two hours into this now. We're going to check on, see how that meat's looking. Looks like uh, we set up our drip pan situation a little bit better. But uh, that means the stuff's juicy and melting. Let's take a look inside here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Three racks of ribs, fat dripping into our water pan. Chips are still smoking. Pork roast going. Can't look at this too long, we'll lose our smoke and our heat, but it's looking beautiful. All right, we pulled our ribs out of the barbecue. 
after a couple hours we're going to wrap them in foil with some sauce here and uh, we're going to put them back in for another hour inside a barbecue mm, that is tasting good i put some more of this uh, espresso barbecue sauce on it this is looking good mm -mm -mm. we'll probably put these in meat side down so that they, uh, the meaty side can uh, soak in the juice inside the tin foil. All oh, those smell so good, you would not believe it. And with that espresso sauce, it's just out of control. We're gonna flip that over. Oh, I can just smell that uh, that coffee background smell and taste on it. Oh man, these are gonna be awesome. And look at that, uh, those nice black carcinogens on there. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, that is great. All right, I'm gonna have to. Uh, so Alright folks, so we have the finished product here. We uh, actually devoured one of them already before I forgot to film this, but it's got everything you want. It's, it's perfectly nice and juicy and moist. Juicy and moist because of the, uh, we wrapped it in foil there at the end and let the juices and the, some of the uh, sauce uh, soak into it. And But it's got all of the, uh, the, the black charcoal goodness of, of smoke and barbecue. It is just amazingly good. Uh, it's fallen off the bone. The knife just goes right through it. All this stuff is just these open. They're beautiful in the middle. They're juicy. Falling off the bone. This stuff is just oh, it's, it's amazing. So, and there's there's the. Uh, what do you think, Mindy? Pretty good stuff. Really good. A lot different than making them on the barbecue. Mm-hmm.